Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I wanted to wait for a minute before I made this um, video. I really, really wish, first of all, before I say that, how y'all doing out there, family? I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope that um, there is no strife in your life right now. And if there is, that you are managing it um, just like the uh, champion that you are. My prayers are with you. And um, if you're going through any kind of adversity, um, know that, uh, that, that there's just comfort and support out there for you. Okay, all you got to do is seek it. Seek and ye shall find. All right? So with that being said, I want to get into this right here. Um, I really thought, I really would have liked this to be a live uh, program. But of course, you guys, I got to um, send my phone away. And um, in fact, I got the box and all the stuff that just came yesterday for me to send my phone off and I think I'm I'm going to participate in a, in a few more lives, uh, so I can interact with y'all a little bit more um, than email. So y'all bear with me. I'm I'm learning the technology. I, I'm getting it together. If anybody out there want to help me out, some I'll be glad to help you. I'll be glad to accept your help. I need it, um, and I would love for you to, um, you know, help me on some things that I'm I may be lacking in. Okay, so I'm putting that out there for all my listeners. Um, we pretty strong in here, y'all. We like about um, 1,500, uh, almost 2,000 deep is what I should say. And with those many subscribers, I want to really get up to about five. You know, I've been doing this a long time. It's just that um, I believe that if I invest a little bit more of myself with y'all, y'all will help me spread um, my ministry and my message a little bit more. That's all. Um, and it's just something to make you think. Okay? I don't profess to have all the answers, but I know especially in our community, we hurting. And anybody out there that wants to address the hurt, I want you to know that, um, you know, I'm with you. But this right here, nobody is coming from this perspective, and I really, really have to, I gotta speak on it. And I gotta say what I said. And this is back to Kobe Bryant. This whole thing. Not so much that Gail didn't apologize. I didn't, you didn't expect that. Okay. But I do want to talk about how, before I get into my main meat and butter, that Oprah nor Gail has made a comment so far that I've seen, unless somebody can point it out to me, about their dear friend Harvey Weinstein being found guilty of rape. Now, she went through, Oprah, I'm talking about my homegirl, went through a lot of um, uh, um, mush and retribution to down Michael Jackson. And, you know, you need to give that same energy to your boy being found guilty. And unless you're willing to do that, I don't understand how anybody can validate these uh, black women anymore. Because you, we, we can see your position. Um, in terms of being gatekeepers, okay? And to give the illusion that you are, anybody can have the dream that you have and that you've accomplished when you know damn well that you had, you got to do certain things in order to be in that position. And I don't care what you say, okay? Because I know how it go. So um, this right here, I got to move on because Gail and Oprah, y'all got some um, real soul searching to do. Because y'all should be ostracized, really, in terms of how I feel about y'all. And it probably don't matter to you. But I'm going to tell you something. At the end of the day, when the colonizer has no more need for you, and you've alienated all of your real people, okay, then you'll be a man without a country. You know, you you, And that's just where you belong. A woman without a country. Um. You'll be on your farms, and, and, and hopefully you can enjoy that and your puppies. Um, and I would love to have that life, but I would love uh, 
to not be hated by my own peers and my own group just to please another uh, base of people. There's no way in the world I would do that. Okay, so to each his own. And this leads me to Pam and Joe Bryant and their baby Kobe. Um, I tried to hold it in. I couldn't hold it in because I had to really take in. And some say, you know, I got to let it go. I don't want to let it be as raw as what Snoop did. So I like to filter stuff first and then see if I can come from another perspective. Not saying that, um, you know, that is how I would have responded. But I definitely don't like the fact that Snoop is on there, an apology tour now as if... Um, He's the worst thing in the world. And you got Morning Joe and all these people talking about you as a black man. I know you got to get your bag. I understand. And I know that's why you got to go and get your bag. That's why you apologizing like you are. But you need to stop. And you need to stand in what you said. That's why I like Boosie. See, a lot of y'all say Boosie ignorant. And he is. He crazy. But he just like I like it. Because I like real people. I don't like people who are props for the colonizer. Really, I don't. Um, just be yourself. And I think that uh, Snoop was made to think about all his sponsors and Martha Stewart and the show and the Joker's Wild and whatever else you're doing. And uh, we got to stop that. So you don't have the ability to express how you feel. Um, and even though I do know you went a little far, so with that, you should have been a little reprimanded. But you apologize once, bro. That's it. You don't need to keep on doing this because you're not getting no brownie points. When they get done with you, they're going to dump you too. All right? I don't appreciate how Pam and Jelly Bean was totally ignored during this funeral. I don't like it, that divide and conquer, that you're not just black, you're more than black type of environment that allows you to separate yourself from your people. Uh, uh, you're not just black, you're more than black. I've seen them do it to a lot of them. I've seen it done with Michael Jackson and Jackson 5. I've seen it done with Michael Jordan when he can sit there and say that Republican needs Nikes or shoes too. Um, um, the people that invest in they're just black capitalists that really 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 know the history and the dichotomy of slavery but you would never see any of them trying to avenge any of their ancestors uh, money their wealth they, they, there's no way in the world they're going to go and do anything to get to, to acknowledge that their ancestors' wealth need, we need to discuss this. But they'd rather stand out uh, from among us and be the super Negroes um, more than black that we aspire to be um, and that way the colonizers continue to have us uh, reaching at for stars that can't be met and black folk pleasing um people who will snatch everything from up under them if they decide to go another way. That's my feeling. I feel that Pam and, and people want to just relegate it to um, the memorabilia that Kobe and his parents sold. Uh-uh. Nah. Yes, they had problems right before that. No, I was not there. Yes, this is speculation, but these are all from tidbits and pieces of information. Streets talk. And if y'all don't know that by now, then you don't know nothing. Kobe had four and five houses that when him and Vanessa was going to get divorced, that she was going to get, I mean, luxurious. Oh, man, you just go on the internet and see all the properties that Kobe Bryant owned. I think part of the uh, Bryant's problem, um, and, you know, hey, they can come back and correct me if I'm wrong. But from what the streets say was that they, Kobe didn't mind taking care of, of Vanessa's people. He did it with lovingly, with pleasure. 
but he wanted to make sure that his relatives worked and got a job and made sure that they didn't want a handout and made sure that they were... Um, and I'm not saying that people should just get a handout or this, that, and the other, but what, I'm, what I am saying is when is we worked hard enough a fact? You come up and you worth almost 500 um, a million dollars why in the world would you not try to support your family members? I mean, and if they squander that, so be it. But you want them to still work like Hebrew slaves, talking about you'll teach them value? What more value can black people have other than being damn slaves? And if you don't think that there's no such thing as a cellular memory, how come we feel bad every time we see them out there picking cotton? How come? Because you feel it. You feel it in your cellular memory. And then the gaslighting that goes on that calls us lazy. Oh, they're just a bunch of lazy, shiftless niggas. But we coming into your house, cleaning it up, nursing your babies from our breasts. And it's like, how can you be so stupid to be gaslit that way, black people? I believe Vanessa, I mean, uh, uh, Pam and Joe were very disappointed because they knew, yes, they was, Joe taught Kobe everything he knew. He exposed them to the game of basketball. If it wasn't for Joe, it wouldn't be no Kobe. But you didn't acknowledge that at the funeral. You left it all about Vanessa and the girls. And don't get me wrong, Vanessa. I mean, I support her. There's no way in the world I could think of that kind of tragedy to lose um, my significant other and my child. That's horrible. That's, that's devastating. But to not even acknowledge how he got on the planet? See, and that's that divide and conquer shit. That's what uh, the colonizer was glad that Kobe and his parents had a riff. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> they love it when you can't relate to your own and can only relate to them. Because, see, you're more than black. You're not black anymore. You're, you're more than black. At 17 years old, when Kobe, uh, when Brandy went to Kobe's prom, because that's the way they wanted to present these young black Hollywood uh, kids. The powers that be, that knew that they could take advantage of Kobe, and because he was great, and they saw the drive, and they was like, "Oh no, 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 no! We're gonna make him more than black. We're gonna." separate him from the rest of them. And Kobe's going to buy it. A lot of them do. A lot of them buy it because they don't know no better. A lot of them buy it because they've been poor and in poverty so long. We'll do anything to get out. But the more they alienated him from his mother and his parents. And I can't blame uh, Pam. I'm going to tell you the truth. If I saw my my son buying everything for his wife's people and nothing for me, he got to pick my stuff out for me. But they can spin willy-nilly and do whatever they want to do. I'd probably feel some kind of way too. And I, I'm not saying this to disrespect Kobe. But I know how the colonizer does and how he separates families. Like Michael in a Jackson 5. And then tell you that the rest of the family was lazy and shiftless and they were living off Michael when they all started together. But how in the hell do the, the state get to run his uh, uh, money and they all white men? But the people that slept in the bed with him, whose feet that he put in their mouths, whose, they had to smell his stinky breath in the morning. His brothers and sisters. His family, they're mooching off of Michael. That's a colonizer mentality. And as long as they can get most of us to buy into that colonizer mentality, the better off. You'll have the Kobe's and the Oprah's and the Michael Jordan's and the ones who, well, I, I admire everything that Kobe did while I admire everything he did and does. Um, through his foundation or, or whatever else. 
I also know that how it's very difficult to stay authentic. And I'm not saying this like you're going to hang out in the hood with black folk. It's not what I mean. But it's the equivalent to not speaking to the black press, but running to pay homage to white press. And you a black person. It's the same thing as running over to act like their water is colder instead of drinking from your brother's water first. So they can see some solidarity between us. Because as long as there is none, you can continue to grow the Kobe's and the Jelly Beans and the Pam's or the Michael Jordan and his family or the Michael Jackson and his family. You know, and the separation that the colonizer loves to do to us. All in the name of you're more than black. You're not just a regular black. You can't be around those those blacks. It's just how I feel. And I feel that to not mention Jelly Bean and a Pam and his sisters, Sharia and or Sharia or and the other one, he's got sisters, he got nephews, he got nieces. Shayla. Y'all gotta be crazy. And how dare y'all disrespect that man's family like that? How dare you? And even if y'all did think they have a riff, the man is gone now. What will make you not acknowledge it? What will make Vanessa think that's okay? I didn't like it at all. And I just want you to know it. And um, I don't really care. That's how I feel about it. I feel like the colonizers alienated Kobe. At the end of the day, <laughs> they'll figure out a way to get the wealth back. That you can believe. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.